Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Automation Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can create an HMI application in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So here we have a different name, okay, for the HMI's pages. For example, in Visual Designer, I believe we have a screen, a page, and you know, for the terminal expert, we have a screen and content here. What we call is the canvas. So, what we can design are the canvases inside the application. So, as soon as we create the solution, we have the possibility to create one uh, canvas. Okay. But if you, if you haven't selected the option, okay, what we need to do is to add a new resolution. So, if we go to canvases, then select new resolution we should be able to select the resolution for the hmi that we want as soon as you select one of these resolutions okay you should be able to see this view in the bottom so the navigation bar in the top you have like a navigation bar that contains all the different screen or canvases that you have inside the resolution then we have the possibility to use a different navigation control okay we're going to use rows by default but that doesn't it's similar between the one that that we have i'm going to show you and then we have additional buttons regarding for example to log out and for the administration okay and also for the logger inside the controller then on the exit button that you have over here, we should be able to add some text. And if you add the text, you can add it over here. So as soon as you configure this part, okay, then you can select the change of the logo. So by default, we have the Schneider one, but you can change to any that you want. Okay, and this Ross, Ross or Rosé that you have over here, uh, it changed this part, okay? It changed the navigation that you have. Uh, from, at the moment, the one that I like is rows, so I leave it in there. So here is the complete view on the toolbar that we have, and what we're going to define then are the different uh, screens that we have for the account. So if you want to modify this part, okay, what we can do is to right click on the new resolution that we added and then open start canvas this will help us to modify this part the other thing that we can do is to redefine a start canvas with wizard you will see this message and then we come back to this if i'm wrong to this view again so let's try to do this so if we go back to our solution uh, this one okay so we have created this one uh, so let's go to remove it new resolution I'm going to use this one no this one no this one so uh, and I'm going to select this these these are the other ones red crown and rows or none and use rows and then here exit button yes exit warning uh, bye bye so that's it basically and here you can change the logo let me just just check the logo that i have over here just bear with me a second okay and finish so we have this resolution over here so if we right click over here we can name it okay so let's see what i have done here start to choose change the name of the resolution added so this one we can change the name i thought that i have pretty funny name over here but no let me just go back here so we can change the name rename here we can define hmi sorting line okay so once you have this you can redefine a star canvas yes and we have the same view that you have and you can change all this part I'm going to cancel and then if you want to access into that particular toolbar in the canvas open star canvas and here you have all this part 
okay you have the exit button warning text bye bye okay you have it over there so let's continue with this i don't want to make something <laughs> no, we need to add the pages now so the, the item will be the canvas that we're going to add inside this resolution part so it's like the screen so what we need to do now is to add the screen to create the navigation that we want so we just right click on the resolution added and then we should be able to select the new item then we just need to select the name the title and tool tip so if we go back to the software okay let's just close all documents let's just close this one so right click new item here we have for example um machine canvas machine let's try to use on the screen there to tell uh machine um help um canvas for the machine and finish so those messages will allow me to identify our sorting or canvas machine inside the open star canvas when we create the simulate or the node application of the HMI we should be able to see here the name of our canvas okay and here we should be able to see the different canvas we can select and navigate to it or using this button but I'm going to show you later so here is the place where you need to design your application here you have some figures here are some buttons but part of or what we're going to do later is to add the cut interface instance that we have created so let me just go back here i don't want to step forward okay so uh to, to, to our solution new item canvas machine configure title or to tip check the properties of our canvas so there's something important here so if we go back to here to our canvas if we go to properties we should be able to see some of the things that we have already configured so we have configured the title machine and we also configured the tooltip canvas for the machine so this information is also in here to modify you see if i forget something no so as this small training I have done is to get familiar with the um, with the software and see how we can integrate the different elements i'm not going to enter into each details of the screen how you can um, modify and develop for an application okay so this is it how we can create the canvas the canvases the different resolution okay later what we're going to see is how we can add the cut instance for our solution so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.